In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Onshape's built-in text function to create text. I'm going to show you how to dimension that text, how to rotate that text, as well as how to scale that text so that you can have a really tall or a really wide number like you have here. So first, let's go over how to make text normally. You probably already know how to do this. All you got to do is go to whatever surface you want your text on, click on it, go to sketch, go to the top of your screen where you see this letter, that's the text function, click on it, and then you can click and drag over the area you want your text on, let go, and then this text box is going to appear where you can choose your font and then whatever you want your text to say. In my case, I have a building block with A, B, C, and D, and I need the letter E here, so I'm going to enter E, click OK, and there we go. Now you have the letter E on this surface. If I want this E to be about 1 inches in width, I can go to the top of my screen and click on this dimension tool. Then I can click on this on the top of my sketch and then drag outwards and then click again so I can create a dimension. When I do that, it's going to let me put my number in, so I'm going to want this to be about 1 inches in width. Press enter. And there we go. It scales uniformly to be about 1 inches in width. If I wanted to drag this E to the center of this block, I can't really do that because of the dimension we just created has a constraint built in within, built in within it, which is going to prevent me from dragging it upwards to the center of this block here. So I have to click on the dimension, press delete, and then that constraint is going to be removed so that I can drag this to the center of my block. I think that looks about good right there. Click OK. And now we can extrude our texts to whatever, well, extrusion we want. In this case, I want it to be about 0 0.05 inches. Click OK. And there we go. We've just created a text normally in Onshape. But what if I wanted to rotate this E 90 degrees clockwise? Well, what I can do is I can go to my Features section here, select the sketch that I just made, and I can click and drag over my entire sketch so that I can select all of it, press Ctrl-C to copy it, press Delete to get rid of it, and then press Ctrl-V to repaste it. When I do that, it's going to repaste it with this transform function. And I can use this square here to drag my text to the center of my screen, or to the center of this area here. If I wanted to rotate my text, I can click on this ball here and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, or counterclockwise if I wanted to. In this case, I want it to be clockwise. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. OK. I'm going to double click outside of the text so that it confirms my result. And there we go. Now I have it rotated 90 degrees, and I can click and drag it back to the center here. There we go. Now it's rotated 90 degrees. Click OK. And you notice that the extrusion we made doesn't really follow the original text. So what we can do is go to our extrusion again, double click it, go to the face that, of this missing sketch that we have, because it's well no longer there, of course, it's been rotated. Press space to get rid of it, and then select the new sketch that we just made. Or edited, rather, of course. And then click OK. And there you go. You've just rotated your E 90 degrees clockwise. But what if you had a really long building block here, and you wanted your text to somehow fit within this space and occupy the entire space of this wider building block? The problem is you can't really stretch and scale text directly and on shape, but there are workarounds that'll give us basically the same effect. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use an offset surface of our text and then transform that offset surface we've created on our text. So let me show you how that's done here. We're going to go to sketch, click on our surface. We're going to create a text like we normally do. In this case, we have one, two, and four. So we're going to enter three here. And I'm going to confirm my sketch. Now, I can't really use a dimension so that I can scale my text because it's going to scale it uniformly. It's not going to allow me to stretch it, or to only stretch and keep the, uh, the height the same. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to my screen, go to Offset Surface, and click on my sketch. And I'm going to make this offset surface zero because I just want to replicate this sketch as an offset surface. So enter zero here. Click OK. And now we can use the transform tool on the top of your screen. And we can transform this and scale this offset surface to whatever size we want. So I'm going to select this offset surface of my entity, go to this drop down menu, and go to scale. 
And again, we don't want to scale this uniformly. We're going to remove that uh, uniformly option. And the first thing we need to do is we need to choose a point or mate connector of our offset surface. It doesn't really matter what uh, what point you choose because you can just move your offset surface later on anyways. So I'm just going to choose this point on my number three. And then from here on, you can choose where you want your offset or how you want to scale your offset surface. So in this case, I want my y vector to be two. I want my width to be two times the height. If you enter the number two here and it doesn't, and you don't see it changing, you don't see it going wider or smaller. That's probably because you're actually scaling it outwards, which is not really possible if you have a zero dimension offset surface here. If that's happening to you, just return your vector to one or whatever you had it as, and then try at, try adjusting another number instead. So. I'm going to change my x value to 2, and there we go. Now it's stretching out. So there we go. That's probably a lot better. I'm going to click OK here. And let's say my number 3 is a little too far to the right, and I want to kind of move it a little more to the left. What I can do is I can go to, I can go back to Transform, go to Translate by X, Y, and Z, and then click on my offset surface where I can then take it and drag it towards the center here. There we go, that looks a lot better. Click OK. And now we can finally get to the extruding. So I'm going to click on Extrude. Click on my offset surface. And we're going to extrude this by 0 0.05 inches again. And there we go. We've just created a stretched out version of our other numbers. You've just now learned how to create a scaled number in Onshape. Which is great because Onshape doesn't really have that as an original function for its text. So there you go, now you know how to do that. Now, when you're extruding your uh, part and you're working on it, you're probably going to notice this offset surface here is still going to be there. If you want to get rid of that, just go to the bottom left of your screen and click on this eyeball next to your offset surface to hide that. And there you go, now you can work on your part and extrude it without having to see your offset surface and have that get in the way. And uh, yeah, there you go.